Wow, the regular spyglass sucks. What a horrible item. It's about time I just fill in the middle now. Look at all these spyglass uses. They're all super spyglasses. So it ended up being not enough. Uh, ended up being like probably one fifth of the amount of spyglasses that I should be bringing. But you can't really bring that many spyglasses ideally because you need other items for world hopping. Oh! This is potentially my world, uh, my island for this world. Especially because of this. I actually wished for an island in the previous world uh, that looked like this. The shark kittens just stuck there in the middle. It's beautiful. Seriously, this thing is horrible. Hmm. Oh, I found a bottle. Steamer trunk as well. Let's see what this one has. Hmm. They're not bad. These items aren't bad. I'll take the sewing kit. The other items I don't need right now. No, the ROG world is my old ROG world from like, two years ago. Oh, got an island. A very small island, it seems. Uh, that one is extremely bugged. There's only two caves now instead of three. Another steamer trunk. Nice. Uh, it's the old Wicker Bottom world. That's why it looks so garbage, and it's why I'm rebuilding the base. To have more modern stuff. That's garbage. Modern look. Am I gonna play as Wilbur as soon as I find him? Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start playing him. When I find him. Or like very shortly after. thing is, this is also a new world, right? And I need to explore it. Uh, so I really want to focus on, on this for now. Not bringing the crown was a big mistake. This is not the slot machine island, it's just a random island. The slot machine island is connected to the big island, which is amazing. Although that is a big mangrove, and having a big mangrove is sometimes very, very important. I've yet to find a Talbert Island, though. If there are no Talberts in this world, that's kind of bad. Because in the Weber world, I have way too many Talbert eggs. Um, but I'd rather have more than enough than not have any at all. Oh, cool. That's the Doi Doi Island, so there's a treasure there as well. I gotta be careful. I can't approach this area by, at dusk time, I think. Because this could be a snake bush. And if the snakes attack the doi doi, it will die. A 
Okay, that's a massive mangrove. And that's a massive waste of a spike glass. See, this is what I mean about steamer trunks. I always say this. Um, if you're doing, like, a new world and exploring, and you need the contents in the steamer trunk, like its umbrella, this is always in the steamer trunk. They're always in the deep waters, and the deep waters are pretty predictable. They're either... They're really far from islands, so if you find islands, you're not going to find steamer trunks. If you find deep water, you're not going to find islands, but you have a chance of getting steamer trunks. So your exploration in the early game actually does matter a lot. Being dry also matters a lot. Please don't do this. I'm just being careless. Yeah, the uh, tall bird eggs are good for food. Constant food source. It's mainly that, actually. No other reason. Yeah, one tall bird egg is equivalent to two regular eggs. So you can do a double monster made formula and make bacon and eggs. It's one of the most powerful formulas, I think. It's not as easy to make as meatballs with ice, but nothing is, actually. That recipe is just broken. What's this? This island looks interesting. I love the islands that connect to each other with like a little tiny bridge. Wow, this island is interesting. This looks like the Weber Island. One of the Weber Islands looks like this and it has like basically everything there. This is a set piece for uh, fishing rod and the, the crank thing, I think. Or whatever it's called. The screw thing. In your Wilson world, you have a giant area full of eggs that you collect. Talbert eggs? It's really nice. Having one of those areas is pretty amazing. Oh, this could be a dock. If this is... Oh, it's not a dock, is it? It just goes through. Hmm. It's still really cool. It's like a canal. I think I'll explore this island overnight. This could be a tall bird area, though it doesn't seem like it. If it is, then no, it's not. Uh, the pigs and the tall birds actually fight each other. So they can actually uh, produce meat for you automatically. Yeah, one monster meat three hail was the most broken recipe in the game. When you could use hail as the ice replacement, it just made no sense. Screw with it. Yeah, that's what it is. So this was the other island that I wanted to make my base on because it had the seaworthy on it. There aren't that many limpets. If this had like 20 limpets, I would have said this is perfect. 20 limpets here, having, uh, for some reason, having a bunch of jungle trees in a magma biome is really strange, but really cool at the same time. Center of this will be my main base. Uh, this is like a sub base area. Go to ROG through here. And then the second base will be in this area, which means if I want to go to ROG, I just need to go this way. And it goes across. Which I'm probably still going to do. I think mean, so far this world is very, very good. Maybe not 9.5 out of 10, but maybe like 8.5 out of 10 so far.
check out this island. This looks like an island that kind of is shaped like this. So maybe uh, this could be a potential good island too. I mean, if it isn't like that, I don't know what this is. This could be this could be like one Doi Doi Island, small one. Oh, it's not. It's two islands. Oh, interesting. Your world is 9.9 .9 out of 10. I mean, it's possible, but that's really difficult to get. I wonder if this is where the beefalo are. I don't see any yet, though. What is this? That's not your entire world though. You don't have the entire world explored. That's one island. This island is... Yeah, I think this island is probably like a 9... 9.9 .9 out of 10. But the entire world is not explored yet. So you don't know entirely if it is. Wow, that is actually really amazing. Because you have, yeah, this is really good. Very, very good. Lucky you. That is an amazing island. Because I just saw the octopus. Maybe like a 9.5 out of 10 world. Maybe I have to up the standards a bit. Maybe this world is only like a 7 now, after looking at that. Uh, my, my standards are very low, though, for worlds. I don't really care too much. As long as the base is okay, uh, as long as the world is big enough, or the islands are big enough, uh, there are certain resources in certain areas, I don't mind moving around, because that's the fun part. This world definitely doesn't compare to that at all. Maybe this is like a, this is like a 1 out of 10 now. Damn, that sucks. Having an octopus that close to your base is just completely absurd. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to explore this area, see what I can get. My octopus is over here. Look at this guy. And he has a stingray next to him. This is so stupid. So far I don't see any tall birds, so I'm hoping I get some tall bird islands here, at least one or two of them. If I don't get any tall birds, that'd be really bad. Um, I think every island has at least, I mean every world has at least one tall bird area. What are these? Okay, it's not the, it's not the set piece with tree guards. That's an amazing world. To have the octopus so close to the island, it's like the things, it's one, it's one of those things that people dream for. Now just don't die. Never die.
You don't want to play on the world until you get better. <laughs> I guess you're too nervous. That That is a really good world, so if you do end up dying, it'd be really, really bad. Watch those tutorial videos. They're for ROG though. The concepts still apply, but uh, not everything is the same. People do underestimate the basics, I think. In, in like everything you do, the fundamentals are one of the most important things. This uh, most recent video is taking me longer than expected. I actually have to make a new world for some parts of it. Uh, not everything... Because I changed the topic a couple times, but not everything actually applies to the world I have already. That little uh, ROG world that I made. A really nice one. It was actually a really good world. No Names World was the most interesting ROG world so far I've ever seen. Where are my limpets? Seriously. I haven't seen a single island that has like a billion limpets on it. It's so upsetting. shoot one over this way. Maybe I'll shovel these up. No, never mind. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time. Shoveling up anything is uh, kind of pointless. The, the main point of exploring at the moment is to find Wilbur. Because I know he's on the map somewhere. Uh, he's in the shallow waters, I believe. So I should actually pay more attention to shallow water. So far I haven't seen him yet, I think. But there are some areas of the islands a lot of islands with like black spots everywhere. Uh, just because the spyglass only shoots out straight lines. Or cones, I guess. I'm also low on food. So I'm considering just circling around, going back to ROG, getting some food. But I, could also, I could also get food in Shipwrecked, of course. This is technically food. This is actually four meatballs. I don't need the sanity right now, so if I pick up uh, 16, no, 12 seaweed. It's actually a bunch of meatballs. Berries will work too. I have berries probably... I do have berries here. Seaweed is the safest bet. This is one of Warley's strengths, especially in the early game. Is being able to crockpot stuff whenever you want. I thought the other one's bigger. Damn. This is so horrible. Okay, there's a chance there's a nice island here. If the island here is very, very good, 
and the octopus is technically still next to my base, because the wormhole is, but judging by the way the waters are, um, there's at least... It would be very small, so I don't know if it's going to be very good. People still use DVDs for storage? What? Are we back in the 2000s? DVD is the fastest way to install programs. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that is still true. But, yeah, the USB is still faster, I think. It's more convenient that way. Oh, limpets! Limpets, limpets, limpets! Is this actually going to be a good island? What if this island is connected to this one? That would make this a pretty good island, I would say. Yeah, there's always an island with like 40 berries on it. Uh, it's one of the things that always gets generated, as far as I know. Um, every playthrough that I've played has had the berry island. Wow, it really is connected! Oh my god! Okay, I want to figure out what's here. I'm going to explore the edge properly. Okay, so there's three potential candidates. Can you say an easy heal recipe? Uh, yeah, I guess. I, I know all the recipes already, so it's okay. Unless it's related to coffee. If it's related to coffee, don't say it. Because I don't know what coffee does. And speaking of coffee, where the hell's the volcano? It has to be... Uh, uh, okay, this is, this is strange. It could be here, actually. When I circle around, maybe I'll take a look. Oh, can I say an easy one? Um, three ice, one limpet? I mean, uh, three limpets and one ice. 